Hello humans! Welcome to another Fangirl Friday where I talk about books, movies and other things that I like to fangirl over. Today I'm going to be reviewing the book Perfected by Kate Javik Birch. I actually came across this book via Twitter. I'm following an author who retweeted a tweet that I saw uh, which was actually to win a copy of this book. And I was like, cool, free book. So I just retweeted it. And then I got this message and was like, hey, you want a book? So yeah, I randomly won this free book, which was really cool. So Perfected, I got a copy of it electronically. I have an ebook PDF version of it, but it's actually the ARC copy. If you don't know what ARC stands for, it means advanced readers copy, which means that it isn't actually published yet. So unfortunately, at this time, you cannot go out and purchase this book that I'm raving to you about. Sorry. I found this book really interesting and I'm going to tell you why. The Perfected is set in the future, I believe. It might be set in present day alternate time, reality, maybe, I don't know. Basically it's set in a time where it is legal to have human pets. So it's pretty much slavery, except they call them pets. <laughs> Wow. Step back in your uh, progression of humanity, eh? And these people own these girls who are, uh, they're 16 when they're sold and they have been genetically bred to be beautiful and small and petite and lovely and have symmetrical faces and have long, beautiful hair and perfect skin and wonderful jawbones and basically everything that I don't have. I just put myself down. That's not what I should be doing. I'm a great human being. So anyway, Perfected follows a young girl named Ella who is a pet for the congressman's family. He's actually one of the congressmen that passed the bill to have pets, um, so of course they need one. So she goes to their beautiful home in the hills where the congressman and his family lives. The congressman's family consists of the congressman, the congressman's wife Elise, and the congressman's two children, Penn and Ruby. There actually is an older sister but she doesn't come in until later and I can't bother to mention her because she is a meanie poo. Don't like her. Just want to like slap her up the face. Perfected follows the ever popular young adult story arc of Forbidden Love. Ella falls in love with Penn, the congressman's son, but they're not allowed to be together because she's a pet and she's not really worth anything, apparently. She's not even a real person. She's a pet. She's there to look nice. Basically, lots of stuff happen where they just fall even more and more in love until the point where it's just dangerous and stupid and like, you need to just take a step back from each other because one of you is going to get killed right now. Thank you. Just be, you know, eight Bibles apart. Leave some room for the Holy Spirit. Daddy for Christian teens. Anyway, on a whole, I really enjoyed this book. It gave a really interesting and different perception to slavery and into that whole of what is socially acceptable because it's a law. It's one of those books that doesn't have super overt, oh my gosh, look at me, I'm so controversial, social comment issue kind of things. It's one of those books where it's kind of in there and you've got to dig a little bit, but once you get there, you're like, wow, these are big issues. To which I commend Miss Kate because it was done really well. I would rate this book uh, a 7 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't incredible. I would definitely recommend that you read it, but it was it was still a really nice read and I still really enjoyed it. And I'll still be trying to pick up a paper copy when it comes out, actually. So yeah, guys, that is it for this week's Fangirl Friday. I hope you enjoyed this book review. I'm hoping to do more of them, especially since I won another book today. Just, that's such a great, no, I don't do anything. I just hit a button and then I get books, basically. Maybe it's rigged. Hopefully through me doing these Fangirl Fridays, I'll actually get to read more books because, you know, Authors might send me a sneaky copy before it's released because they want it to get reviewed on here, so... Authors, send me some sneaky copies of your books and I'll review them on Fangirl Friday. Scott Westerfeld, <coughs> Afterworlds. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. As always, check out the blog post that I did this week. It is a list of all the things I bought at Bookfest, which was the best thing ever so make sure you go and check that out i love you all i hope you have a fantastic week and i'll see you on wednesday for my main video i love you all and goodbye this story as most young adult novels do these days follows the wonderful story arc of unforbidden of uh, 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 unforbidden love wouldn't that be nice